by your own words, you are a foreigner. And you already look I'm quite foreign. comfortable in the job. And I'm just wondering whether, having spent 10 years in, the, in this country mm. earlier on in life, especially time at Oxford, gives you a kind of insight into the structures of this country in terms of the establishment, the public school system, the class system, which John Major, our former Prime Minister, has described as one of the things possibly even holding the country back. Do you, um, do you, do you understand the world you're in? Do you, do you resent it, find it difficult, or find it very easy? Uh, I think as a foreigner you um, you have a different perspective uh, and I uh, and, and maybe an objective uh, pers I would hope an objective perspective uh, I think I do understand I understand I know what I don't know in this uh, in this country and that's that's that's, that's, quite, a very good a, that's quite a bit but it is it's necessary uh, I have uh, the the friends and uh, and family extended relations I have in this country are uh, extend a across the, uh, the the social spectrum and I gather across yeah. the Irish Sea uh, and across the Irish uh, Sea, you're yes. an Irish citizen. I am. I am an Irish citizen. I'm a Canadian citizen. You're also Irish citizen, a, a British yes. subject, so uh, uh, yes. British citizenship can't be far away. Uh, I uh, will uh, to take up my right to British citizenship. Uh, there's a residency requirement. Uh, oh, you are interested in doing it. Uh, I have. I made that commitment to the Prime Minister. Uh, the residency requirement actually extends to about the end of my term, uh, as it turns out. <laughs> despite the fact that I have been uh, married to my British wife for uh, for 18 years. So.